Welcome to this yoga session. I hope you're feeling good. We start this yoga routine by standing straight with our feet wide apart. Just plant them nicely on the ground. Roll your shoulders back. Soft your knees and breathe. For the next 30 minutes, just focus on breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. When you inhale, push your stomach out. And when you exhale, pull your stomach in. Focus on how you feel. Allow your body to get used to the movements that we're gonna do. Just take a rest whenever you need to. And most importantly, be thankful for being here. Now we very gently start with our hand and arm movements. The arms spread out wide and move slowly up and down. Inhale on your way up and then exhale on your way down. Warming up your neck, inhale and look to one side. Exhale. And then inhale and look to the other side. Exhale. We're gonna repeat this for a couple of times. Inhale, look to the other side. Exhale again. Feel your upper body loosening up a tiny bit. Exhale on your way down. Inhale, go up. And exhale down. Inhale one last time. And exhale. Inhale up, interlock the fingers above your head and stretch. Pull your spine up towards the sky. Keep the elbows as extended as you can. The upper arms are very close to your ears. Keep your head straight and feel how you stretch the sides of your body. Plant your feet very strongly on the ground and keep your knees soft. Always be aware of the movement of your stomach. Inhale, your stomach goes out. Exhale, pull your stomach in. We're just gonna stay here for a couple of breaths. And focus on how we feel. We drop down to the L posture very gently, keeping our knees soft until we arrive in the posture. And then we straighten the knees by pushing our hip as far back as we can. Just stay here for some seconds and notice the stretch. And then release your interlocked fingers, keep your arms at shoulder level and take them back over your sides. Basically, we stay like a bird here. Feel your hamstrings getting stretched. Maybe also some tension in your arms and shoulders. And breathe. We're just gonna stay here for some time and inhale and exhale. Take your right hand very carefully and place it in between your legs. And then pull your left hand up towards the sky. Twist your upper body, keep your knees straight and breathe. Same thing on the other side, the left hand comes down, plant it in between your feet. Reach with your right arm for the stars and keep it long and straight. Bring both hands back and place them in between your feet. Round your back. Relax it and then straighten your spine. 
Round your back once again and relax. And then straighten your spine. Round your back. And straighten your spine one last time. From here we come up and stretch as if somebody's pulling our wrist upwards. Exhale and come down to the floor. Inhale up again. And exhale. Try to engage your upper shoulders. Inhale, come up. Exhale slowly for the last time. Inhale on your way up. Interlock your fingers and stretch upwards. Maybe you feel a little warmed up now, a little more loose in your upper body. Continue with your breath and stay here for a couple of more seconds. For five, four, three, two, and one. Drop to the front, to the L posture, keeping the tension, having the knees straight, pulling the elbows out and engaging your core. Stay here and breathe. Release the interlocked fingers, pull them back on shoulder level and stay like a bird again. And don't forget to breathe. For three, two, one. And we drop down, bring both hands in between your legs if that's possible. Push with your palms and stretch your back. If that's too hard, just reach for your shins. Look to the front and straighten your spine. And then look down, relax and round your back. Every time you round your back, you exhale, sucking your belly button in. And every time you straighten it, you inhale. And one more round, exhale. And inhale. From here, grab your ankles with both hands, bend your knees slowly and drop your hip down. Don't collapse with your upper body, keep your chest out and roll your shoulders back. Feel how you open your joints and don't forget to breathe. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly straighten your knees and put your palms back in between your feet. Reduce the space between your feet and stop when they are about hip width apart. From there, join your hands together and safely come down into a very, very, very deep squat. Keep the palms at the center of your chest and at the same time, support your knees with the strength of your elbows. Try to keep your back straight and stay here for a little while. From here we will come up to a standing posture and if you do so in a couple of seconds make sure you are engaging your core, your hips and your thighs when you come up. And let's come up slowly. We inhale and push upwards. The knees stay parallel to each other. We extend the sides of our bodies and stretch. We exhale, we go back the exact same way. Very slowly into the deep squat. And five, 
four, three, two, and one. And we come up and inhale. Stretch your body and chin goes up. Exhale on your way down. Slowly into the deep squats for five, four, three, two, and one. We slowly come up again. Inhale, stretch towards the sky. And one more time, go down, exhale. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale on your way up. And from here, we come down to the L posture again, pushing our hip backwards, extending our hands to the front, stretching the arms and always engaging the core. Breathe. Slowly coming down, placing the palms in one line with our feet, elbows as straight if possible, and try to keep your palms flat on the ground. If that doesn't work today, just reach for the floor with your fingertips. Try to keep your knees and your back as straight as possible. And feel the stretch in your hamstrings. I could definitely feel it right here. Gently roll up your spine until you reach a standing position. For the next part, we're going to come to the front end of our mats. Joining our hands together in front of our chests, rolling the shoulders back. Inhale and pull your hands upwards, including a careful back bend and exhale, dropping down. Place your palms by the side of your feet, drop your hip down and push your right leg back. Straighten it, maybe a little better than me. Look forward and stay there. Take your left leg back, come to a strong plank and stay. For five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down on your knees, meet the floor with your chest and your chin. Make sure that your hip is up in the air. Elbows are tucked in. And then slowly push your body forward. Open your chest and give it some space to breathe. Next, we're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Feel a stretch in your entire body. It's a very great stretch. And don't forget to breathe. Take your right leg in between your hands, making sure the left leg is kind of straight. <laughs> and stay here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly bring back your left leg and let gravity pull you down towards the earth. Come up and make a back bend once again. And exhale at the center. Now we're going to repeat the same movements on the other side. Inhale, bend backwards. And exhale, bend forward. Bend your knees, take your left leg back, stay there and feel a stretch in your hips. Take your right leg back and come into a plank position. Keep the tension, the core stays strong of course. And next, we drop down our chest and our chin. Hips are up in the air again. 
and then push your upper body upwards allowing your chest some extra space breathe and by raising our hip upwards we transfer to downward facing dog if you can place your heels on the ground like Maulim is doing that if you can that's also fine step with your left leg in between your hands stay here for some seconds Join with the right leg and relax your back. I can, of course, feel a very good stretch in my hamstrings right here. Join both hands together and flow into a back bend. Now we've completed one round of this. We will do the second one again, but a tiny bit faster. Inhale to back bend, exhale down. Inhale and push your right leg back. Exhale, left leg goes back. Drop down your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, push your upper body up. Exhale, hip goes up. Inhale, right leg to the front. Exhale, left leg comes to the front. Inhale up. And exhale, come to the center. Inhale up again. Exhale, go down. Inhale, left leg goes back. Exhale, right leg joints. Knees, chest and chin to the floor, upper body up. Exhale, hip comes up. Inhale, left leg to the front. Exhale, right leg to the front. Inhale, come up in the air and exhale to the center. On to the third round, but we will include some variations. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Drop down only your chin now and flow directly in the, to the next position. See how our palms and toes only touch the mat, the rest flows right above it. Breathe and move your hips up to downward dog. Take your right knee and place it in between your hands. Chin up and don't forget to breathe. Drop down your forehead to the mat. Focus on your breath. Chin up once again. And then slowly work your way to downward facing dog. We jump to the front, join our hands together and come up to a standing position. Our feet come together, we bend gently backwards, exhale down, then take your left leg to the back, join with the right one and hold strong plank. Dropping down only the chin, flowing into the next position right away. Chin up and breathe. We will meet in downward facing dog. Now bringing the left knee in between your hands. The back foot is tucked in, chin goes up. And next, drop down your forehead and meet the ground. Come up and then we slowly meet in down dog again. Get ready for the jump and jump. <laughs> Join your hands together and come up to a standing position. Lower your arms over your sides very slowly and then interlock your fingers behind your back and raise them up as far as you can. From here we drop down, still looking forward and keeping our arms stretched. And don't forget to breathe. Release both hands, place them in between your feet. 
take your right leg to the back and move your hands in one line with your left foot. From there, we twist our upper body to the left by raising our left hand up to the sky. Look up and breathe. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now drop down your right knee. The upper body stays exactly the same. And breathe. Bring back your left hand and slowly go down on your elbows. If that's not possible, just stay up on your palms and try to bend down as far as you can. Also try to keep the back flat and look forward. Slowly come up, bring both feet together and then get ready for the second side. Take your left leg to the back. Now lift your hand up towards the sky. We're taking our right hand now, twisting to the right and breathe. Drop your left knee to the ground. Focus on your breath again. Lower your right arm and if that's possible, go down on your elbows. Try to keep your back flat. I know that one is really, really hard. And hold. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come up and let's meet in a plank position. The feet are a little wider apart this time. Take a deep breath and get ready to go into a very deep push-up position. And go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we come up to down dog. Breathe and take a small rest right here. One more time, we start in the plank position. We get ready for the push-up and, and we go low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we push up to down dog. Walk back with your hands until you reach the end of your mat. Touch the ground in front of your feet if that's possible. Otherwise, just reach down as far as you can. Keep your knees straight and stay down. <laughs> okay, stay down. I thought we were rolling up. Stay down. Now move your feet inwards until they almost touch each other. And then walk your hands to the front again. Come into a plank position. And then move your hip upwards to downward facing dog. But this time come up on your toes. Pulling your belly button inwards. And your hip as far up as you can. Notice the tension and the strength in your thighs. Drop down your heels and come to the classic downward dog position. And now we walk with our legs to the front. We pay attention, our knees stay completely straight. I know it feels a little weird, but just walk to the front. And now if you can, place your hands underneath your feet and stretch.
Slowly release your hands and roll your spine upwards. Now move your feet a little wider apart. Place your hands on your butt. The fingers point to the outside and your thumb to the inside. Now we're going to do a back bend. Inhale, push your hip to the front and allow your chin to drop to the back. Come up straight again. Notice how flexible your spine was and for the next one try to go a little bit deeper. The idea remains the same. Push up your hip forward with the hands and drop the head down. Coming back for the last time. And push your hip to the front, bend backwards. Breathe. And slowly come up again. Interlock your fingers behind your back and bend forward as far as you can. And breathe. Slowly come up and notice how you feel. I hope you're feeling good. And for the last part of this yoga session, we're going to go down to our mat. Just sit on your bum first and then get comfortable. Grab your feet with your hands and the posture of your back remains straight means the chest goes out, shoulders roll back, press your thighs outwards trying to touch the mat. I obviously cannot do it yet but the more often you practice the better you will get. Take a deep breath. When you exhale bend forward, stay there and look to the front. And then inhale, go back straight again. Exhale, bend forward. Try to go a little deeper than you did before. You can see Maulim is able to go way deeper than me, but that's fine. For the last time, inhale and then exhale, bend forward again. Just do whatever is possible for your level of flexibility. And come up straight again. We had a little cut here because the cart was full, so open your legs as wide as you can. Keep your back straight and push your chest out. I know that one is hard too. Place your hands on the ground and breathe. Try to reach for your toes. Wiggle your butt a little bit to find a comfortable position. And then bend down as far as you can. Ideally, your back should stay straight. And then, of course, don't forget to breathe. Grab your big toes with your index finger and then try to press down your elbow to your knee. I couldn't do it at all, but just try your best. Release, come up and slowly join your feet together. This movement is called the butterfly and it releases the tension from your hip joints. For the last minute, you can find a seating position that feels comfortable for you. We're just going to relax and breathe in and out at our own pace. We enjoy the moment. Notice how we feel. You can also close your eyes if you want to. And then just focus on your breath.
Wrap your palms and then gently place them over your eyes. Feel the heat and once you're ready, take them off. Open your eyes very slowly and notice the lights around you. Thank you so much for joining our session. Namaste.